DJ Nick, DJ Nick. Yo, what is good, Lock em Up Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger, man. We're out here on the twos court in the park, not the stage. This was the same night, though. This was right before we went to the stage. If you didn't see that video, check it out after this. You see, I got EXO out here. Big Elite EXO. I'm still an SS2. I know. But look what I'm going against. An Elite 2, two-way slash and playmaker. Over 11 points per game. Running with a rebounding wing. Very good ISO 2's lineup. Rebounding wing. Very versatile. As is the rebounding guard. As you saw, that's what EXO is used. And that's what user uses. Me and EXO hardly ever lose on the 2's, man. We are a very good duo. This dude's comboing up. I ain't gonna lie. But you see, I keep moving up, backing up, moving up, backing up. He takes the 3 and bricks. EXO gets the rebound. That's usually how I play slashers. Because most of them can't shoot. I actually have a video on how to defend slash and playmakers. Now, you're going to see in this video, spoiler alert, I don't show a great example of it in this video. I ain't going to lie to you. But here, I'm trying to feel him out. I want to see if he's going to give me the drive or the shot. But I make a huge Bruh. mistake right here. Why would I do that on the baseline? Now, don't get me wrong. I swear, when I play against people, they can dribble on the baseline and not go out of bounds all they want. But... Me and the out bounds on, you know, we're not very good friends. But this dude, not a terrible dribbler, but you see the back up method. It worked. Clamped him up. Very good defensive possession so far, but I'm going to make a mistake. I'm playing back too much, and I let him get the three wide open. Big mistake, man. I should have gotten a little tighter with the shot clock. I should have played that more aggressive, but I played defense a little too conservative. I didn't want to get blown by. I get the pluck. Sometimes when you see me standing like that, I don't think I'm going to get the pluck. I'm, like, I'm just trying to stop him. I'm not actually trying to get the rip. So, I don't be expecting to rip the ball. So, that's why you don't always see me chasing the ball after I pluck him. He actually messes up. That was a good opportunity to press. But, a good pinch right here. And he throws a bailout pass out of bounds. Bailout passes were nerfed. You can't rock it on bronze somewhere like I was all year. You want to have it on at least gold for it to work more consistently. I don't know what he uses his bailout on. Exo could have hit me for a catch and shoot three, but it's all good. We're just passing back and forth. But Exo's wide open, and he airballed the shot. That is not like Exo at all. For those that watch me, he's very consistent. He shoots over 60% from three. He's usually very reliable, but unfortunately, couldn't come up with the three points. It was a big breakdown on the rebound and wings part, but they caught a huge break. Both offenses are lacking. Exo got him boxed. I don't know why he would go up with that, but Exo, free three. He makes up for it. He greens up. That happens a lot. Exo gets the rebound. And they both collapse on me because I'm the ball handler. And they don't expect him to take it out and just shoot. I give it to Exo. I'm thinking he... Sometimes there'll be those lead passes that just get him open for three. That's what I was hoping for. But mm, kill him with the snatchback oh, oh, oh. green, green, baby. Jones. You see the snatchback. And I had to take the extra step back to get behind the three-point line. But simple move, Jay, in the building. Catch and oh, shoot, oh, oh. Jay. Green, green. Oh, man. Now, ISO is great. I love killing for threes, but if you want to green, like you want to become a great shooter, you got to utilize catch and shoot. Mm, look at the curry. And I, why did I do that behind the back? I had to drive, but it's oh, all good. Oh. Catch and shoot mid-range. You want to get the mid-range in your game. You want to get catch and shoot in your game to become a great shooter. Catch and shoot is the easiest way to shoot. Shooting off the dribble, there just be too many bad gather animations. We see the speed poster with the playmaking shot creator, man. I'd be punching on people with this play shot. You saw a speed boost. If you want to have a speed boost like that, you see me stop pointing up on the inbound. 
but there's a card if you want a uh, speed boost. Check it out after this video. It's helped thousands of people out. It's my most liked video ever. So, clearly it has helped a lot of people. I go baseline, bailout pass. Now, normally I would take that unfortunate out of bounds. Bad RNG. We're getting bad RNG. But I didn't want to go up because he's a two-way and he was kind of there. All he would have to do is hit Y and he would somehow get a smothered contest because that's just the way defense is. That was a dot. That was a dot. That was a very good read, a good look on his part. I ain't gonna lie, man. This guard, you're gonna see, he's gonna start to warm up. That's all pass fake. I'm playing really tight because he made that one three. I cannot... Looking back, I can't believe I gave up some of the drives that I gave up. Like, he took such a bad angle, but I took an even worse angle that allowed that to work. I play up too high. Now this one was just a straight blow by. It was a good foul on my part. And of course the hop step helped out a lot. It was going to inbound. It's going to set up shop. Now I wonder if this dude actually won basketball guys. Probably not. But I'm playing back. And I tried. He actually timed. Mm, he punched on X. So he timed that perfectly. That was actually very good IQ on his part. He knows how to do the back and up technique and he timed it perfectly I got burned I ain't gonna lie to you and since I'm on the play shot I don't have as many defensive badges as my two-way slash and playmaker this was just a good move you can argue he should have lost the ball but the half spin into the behind the back good move this guy is not terrible you see he's not an awful player I'm just making really bad decisions on defense on how to play him he times it again. He gets a straight blow by. It's tough with slashers when they're capable of shooting. He did green a three. I know he bricked a three, but he also greened a three. So this dude is capable of knocking down the shot. I just don't want to give up the three. You see, he got me again. I'm not going to lie. My defense is really bad. You can take the lock him up out of my name. I'm just J-Man this game. He gets a slashing take. He blows by me. And he kicks it a rebounding wing. And he air balls. Axel gets the board. I'm not taking the shot. It was a good close on his part. Good read on my part. But you see I'm going to drive and kick the Axel for the green. He's warmed up now. This was our first game by the way. But Axel took a chance. Knowing he had slashing take. Knowing that he greened a three earlier. Will he green again? But well, he didn't. And I kicked the EXO for the green. And the win, man. Hey, this was a good game. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This was a very good game. He wasn't a terrible player. I thought they would spin the block, but he quit. He got sold. I ain't gonna lie. I did get some stops on, but for the most part, my defense was bad. But... Looking back on it, man, it's a good learning experience, you know. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this nice little commentary, man, nice little comp game, if you want to call it that, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new, turn on post bell notifications, man. Playmaking Shot Creator is back. I know you guys missed him. Yeah, he quit, man. That's tough. But this was a good-ass game. I can't lie to you, man. But... I'm out. Peace. Alright, I know I said I'm out in peace and all that stuff. But listen, y'all. This is for those that don't follow me on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, link in the description. I waited to the end. Because I knew my loyals would still be here. Y'all always be there till the final seconds. And I appreciate y'all. But I got a new series coming up. It has never been done before in the history of the 2k community i don't know if y'all are ready for it but i'm about to show y'all a preview it is something that anyone can take part in but you have to be on xbox unfortunately because it takes place in my light court or the neighborhood whatever like you need to be in my player's vicinity pretty much and you're gonna see why so if you're on xbox let me know gamertag is lock them up j-man again and 
for more information, follow me on Twitter, man. Link in the description. A lot of you don't follow me on Twitter. But I would definitely like for you guys to take part of it. Two episodes recorded, one edited, the other in progress. I want to film more. But without further ado, here's a preview. Describe famous 2K YouTuber, Agent Zero Zero, in one word. Fat fat. Fat.